story that we're here at home this morning. The world of music lost a man known as the meanest saxophone player that ever lived. Ace Cannon passed away, leaving a long musical legacy behind. Victoria Bailey takes a look back at his career. Iconic saxophone player Ace Cannon played his way into the hearts of all music lovers across the world. Ace was a very revered citizen in Calhoun City. Everybody knows Ace. Every time you see him, he's, he knows you, you know him. We're going to miss him here. His sudden passing is rocking his hometown of Calhoun City. He was in here, sat down right there two days ago. I was helping him get some tea. Right. And today, I woke up and he said he passed. So it was sort of a shock. Ace started his music career in the 1950s and had been playing ever since. Landing in the International Rockabilly Hall of Fame, Memphis Music Hall of Fame, and Mississippi Musicians Hall of Fame. Calhoun resident and longtime friend to Ace, Hal Reese Jr. says he will never forget when the two met. We had some real good musicians around here at that time. <clears throat> and uh, Brian Martin and Harvey, they played together a lot. And I'd go down there and listen to them. It was in the early 50s. <clears throat> And Brian said, tomorrow we're going to the Red and White store. I want you to meet this sax player that's coming in and going to play for us. Well, I made sure I was there in, on time and all. Here came a pickup down the road. The, he had a pair of overalls on, the saxophone around his neck. And he jumped out of the truck and ran in and played. And that was my first meeting. Of, uh, he played well then. Cannon lived in Memphis for many years and then moved back to Calhoun City in the 80s, where he became a regular at places like Buck's Gas Station. He liked to hang around the round table. He, he always gives plenty of knowledge. He was an avid golfer, of course. We always had to hear about his golf game every day. People who enjoyed Ace's friendship as well as his music say he will truly be missed. I, I can't think of nobody off hand didn't like him. He, uh, if you asked him to do the same party, he would. Everybody loved Ace, and he loved Calhoun City. So I did get to see him every month and have a good conversation with him every month, and, and I'll miss those conversations. He's just a legend around here. Always has been. He always will be. Victoria Bailey, WCBI News, Calhoun City. Funeral arrangements are underway. Ace was 84 years old.